start this out with a little story. Uh, my wife had a cousin came by, her and her husband, and they were, we were talking about exploring, and they've been going to these lakes and stuff, and I was like, ah, I don't ever go to lakes, and just how I always go to the rivers, and they were just like, well, that's interesting, you know, why is that? Uh, and just coming right here through Canton, I mean, there's just traffic everywhere. Uh, nothing better than being on a river, and a lot of these Texas rivers, especially when it's Friday morning. I mean, odds are I'll be the only boat out there. I just love being away from everybody. I, I know folks are different, and, and they want to go to the lake, and I guess do the little boat wave. I don't know. And, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, I love being remote. Try to give a little perspective. Uh, there's still a little water here at this bridge. If you looking at the graphs, the way the Trinity, it comes up and down. There's no such thing as slow rises on this thing. But just under these bridges here, I mean, they're just eye beams sticking up, things like that. But uh, they did uh, add a little bit of asphalt right here, or oil sand, looks like, to the end of the ramp. But it's still, when my trailer went off, it just dropped right off. So I'm going to stop there and shove it off. That way I don't have to hop up so much. And it is one of the only ramps. As you back down, you gotta turn 45 degrees. So, if you came back a trailer, don't come here. And for those of you watching that just aren't from Texas at all and have no idea, this river goes up and it splits into a couple fingers up into the Metroplex. So this is literally the nastiest water in the state. It has a smell. Every time I come to this river, it smells the same way. And it's not just a terrible smell, but it's distinct and uh, it doesn't smell like no great river that you want to go take a bath in all the time. So Probably won't be getting in unless we just get super hot today. But Ain't nothing but Dallas water. May find a body today. Who knows? We're not going to get that close to Dallas. Hopefully the turtles have them made up before they get that far down. She got some big banks. Oh, and yeah, back to what I was talking about, the water rising and falling fast. It's because of the Metroplex. That's what I went to say when I was saying it earlier. Because uh, it's all just concrete water. It rains an inch. Well, all that water just hits the ditches off the roads right into the river. This thing will rise fast. Too fast. Big old water pump. I didn't need water. We're in Dallas. The kind of things that worry you on rivers you've never explored. Uh, I mean, it's obviously an old bridge, you know. It's a pipeline of some sort. You can see a little sign up there, but it's iron all in here. These big old pipes. They went all the way across. Like maybe at one time the pipeline went above the water. I've seen that places but without knowing it I always slow down and take my time anytime I see a little bit of metal that means there's a lot a really like a railroad track and a nice little rapid that they got man-made of all the rock and stuff so see how she goes pretty swift Trinidad. Check my maps. It's been 18 miles. It took me an hour to get here, which I stopped. I nosed up in a few creeks. Uh, I'm gonna slow down going under here too. It looks rough. And here's why I slow down. And then that's some gnarly stuff right there. I mean, it could be right here under the water. Jack you up. Well, we got a long way to go. All right, here's where Cedar Lake, Cedar Creek Lake, I guess it's actually called, flows in. A little fish right here, a little carp. I could shoot it, but yeah. 
uh, the forbidden zone. I guess this is where I parked a boat down here. Which I ain't going past this point anyway. I'd have to swim. Check that out. And guard just stacked in there. Hop down without scaring them. There's a bunch of them. Here's a small little alligator gar. Little dinks. Those alligator gar, I mean, they get eight foot plus, 200 plus pounds. That ain't one of them. Technically, he's legal to shoot. He'd be legal to shoot anyway, because I'm not, not in the Trinity, technically. It's right over there. But they got a rule where you can't shoot big gar on the Trinity anymore without a tag or something. I just ain't into bow fishing like I used to be. I mean, I used to be mad at them. I'd, I'd, I'd have sat over there and shot every one of them dinks out of there just because it was like, eh. I was hoping to see like catfish light up in here. That'd be cool. Little, uh, shelf here. Let's go over here to the waterfall side of her and hit it and see if I fall on bottom or something. Water, water. Pretty cool here in Old Crane. I guess they used to maybe dredge right here. I'm not sure. Go the wrong way. There we go. Look at that. Chain been moved in a while. A long while. All right, at the 85 bridge, I think that's the highway number there. 57 miles up from 287. Ooh, this is gonna be my longest day run ever. Uh, 120 is the most I ever ran on the Red River one day. All right, we up here a ways, uh, about 60 miles now. Uh, just pulled over, take a quick little break, hydrate. You know, it's kind of neat seeing this big rock formation. You know, like I said before, I haven't really explored the Trinity much, so. Seeing this type of thing, I didn't know we'd really see up here. Looks like some water seeping out of the ground over there, possibly. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna get pushed back off and head on up. Another good little rabbit here. What, but what's even cooler than this rabbit? I'll show you once I kind of get past it. Look at this little island, or not island, but just strange. All those rocks out there, balls of rocks. Huh. I think that's pretty unique. Interesting. But plenty of water still to shoot up it. Uh, I could go up here, but there's a little bit more right in there. You see some stuff. It looks a little more predictable over here. And I got some run. They kind of come back to the inside. Feels like the safest bit. Coming down it. Probably just come straight down the middle. I mean, it ain't gonna be no big deal. Love it. Look at one that around every bend. We're on the Trinity, it's pretty cool. Seventy-three miles from 287 to 34. That's what we're looking at. So that's already putting me at 140 if I turn around right now. Woohoo! Yeah. Still on my first 13 gallons. So we'll see. 
Okay, here's the big rapid I can see on satellite view. It's pretty sketchy, I think. this fellas get over there and look at it all right here's what we're facing I ain't talked myself out of it yet but I'm thinking about it I just this isn't John boat stuff right here you look you get over there there's a huge dip huh I feel like I might could squirt right through here though, and that's where your water's at, you know? Go up underneath that tree. Here's the view from the other side. I mean, that over there is huge. Like, I can't get nowhere near that. The only shot is the buzz right up this bank, and then it's just so swift, I don't have time to really make corrections and plus all the bubbles in it, and then somehow, Skim right up that. I just don't think I'm gonna try it, guys. Uh, I'm out here by myself. 75 miles from the boat ramp. Probably a good place to turn around. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk you through this, and this may not work, but it's at least safe. Uh, right over here, there's a little bit of channel right there. Let me kind of zoom in on it. A lot of glare on there right now but i think i got the boat parked right here i can go around that way i can buzz right up through there start pitching it sideways and i'm going to hit that the deepest place i can which ain't real deep but all this is slick and it's not really rock i don't know how to explain it see it's more just like hard clay so it isn't like I'm running it up on a rock shelf. I, I just not gonna mess with that deep swift water over there. Not by myself here, no one to help me. <clears throat> Getting to bind quick and that stuff. So we're gonna do it the shallow water way because I can get skinny. I ain't no white water guy. I'm a little nervous, I ain't gonna lie. But I think I can do it. I think the boat can do it. now for fall down it gotta go all right i made it up that guys that was incredible stupid but incredible yeah. that turn was sharper than i thought if i could have had just a tiny bit more speed oh, i would have made it but hey this is gonna be easy heading on right here now and it's plenty deep to take off up here shoot shallower and go through rocks and climb up waterfalls. Woo -hoo, we hit there. Ain't a lot of water up here. Get back over here to that water side. I did all that to probably go I think another half a mile is where this lock or weird dam. I'm not sure what it is. We're gonna find out. Alright here's what we drove 76 miles to See, we're not going up here. Not today. I don't think you need a whole lot more water to get over it, though. I don't know what year these were built, but. It. we're finna turn around we're gonna get out of here too it's already taking me longer than i thought i, I stopped and talked to some surveyors from alberta canada pretty cool i 
got to find my way back down that daggum waterfall. I'm just going to do like I did on the way up, just <clears throat> hit it and trim it up. Sketchy. I like this. I like the not so sketchy way. I like shallow. I don't like rough. But here we go. I'm just gonna try it the first time. I'm not even gonna stop. Y'all watching? Where's my vein? Okay, there it is. Woo! I almost messed up. Drive for a second. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm guessing I got a bunch of rocks in it. Let's look at it and see. This will be easy to push off. No, there ain't no damn rocks. Huh, I wonder why I wouldn't bite. Well, they probably fell off when I trimmed up or something. I'm gonna shove her off here. All right, y'all just saw that. I had my drone with me. I thought about putting it in place and hovering and going down it, but I can't drive it and do what I just did. And I just ended up making the call to just record it on my phone like I always do. But I'm hot right now. I had a push there for a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but I don't know. It's 95 degrees outside, so in the sun. We're about to eat a Nutty Buddy and a water. And we got about 75 miles to go and we're gonna hit it hard on the way almost got that second nutty buddy finish i pulled off here got the boat leveled out i still got some gas i want to head on back because I, I, I tell everybody i can get 100 miles out of my 13 gallon tank and uh, we're gonna prove it so there's really only one big waterfall on the way down <clears throat> it would be a bad place to run out but it ain't nothing like that dude so but i probably won't uh video anymore until i get to the bridge it's 445 450 and I got 70 miles to go. If I stay cranked on it pretty good, average 30 miles an hour, that's gonna take over two hours. It gets dark at 7.30, so I got no time to kill. So it's gonna be, old Merc here is about to get ran. Come on, Bolt, let's go. Well, I'm at 88 miles. Huh, I was running pretty hard on the way down, but get her gassed up, get back going, I'm gonna run out of daylight. Well, almost back. Not every day do you see a rattlesnake swimming a river. That's pretty cool. I watched him swim across and he's trying to head up his bank right here. Another day. We're almost back and we're almost out of sun, so. I bet I got some river hair. I took my hat off and glasses. A minute hardly, which I got a lot. I mean, I know it at night, it's easy river run. Glad I made it back. See how far it ran. I'll get back to you. Give up the truck. What you gonna do, old gal? Get out of here! Ha! 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 Whoa! 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 Didn't make it. 